Hello everyone, this is Mark with MrHurricaneTracker.Webs.com bringing you a tropical update for today, June 10th, 2011. We are going to do a tropical update for the Eastern Pacific and the Atlantic Ocean. Right now we're going to talk about the tropical low that we've been tracking here. That tropical low is a lot closer now to Florida, but still only has a 10% chance and is not very impressive any longer to track. But we'll still keep a close eye on it just in case. When we go into the Eastern Pacific, we're going to talk about Hurricane Adrian very impressive storm right now no effect on any landfall or no direct contact right now so that's why mr hurricane tracker webs.com went down to condition green if you'd like to learn more about our alerts please go to mr hurricane tracker webs.com and click on color alerts these alerts will indicate if there's any possible landfall to the united states or mexico anywhere in those areas so we'll continue to watch this storm even though there's no threat to landfall at this point in time we're taking a look at this massive Hurricane Adrian moving out into open water in the Eastern Pacific, which will give it a chance to continue to drop down to a tropical depression and not have any threat. And so this time, we're taking a look at the new way we're going to be tracking these storms. Of course, we got the hurricane models, which come from Google Earth. And now we're going to be tracking the winds of the storm inside the storm and the waves on how high these waves are going to be if this is in open water. And so right now you're taking a look at the center of the storm. Outside the center of the storm, we're showing winds of up to 74 miles per hour. And outside that area, in the orange shaded area, we're showing winds up to 58 miles per hour. And just outside that, in the yellow shaded area, 39 mile per hour winds. We're taking a look at the blue area, which show 12 foot waves. These 12 foot waves can reach all the way up to Mexico. But by the time it reaches Mexico right here, you see it is um, showing just a little area right here which could actually affect the high tides in that location and the high tides can be maybe three to six feet in that location but right now the main concern is the winds of the storm and the category five very impressive storm once again so we'll stay tuned with the national hurricane center i'll continue to keep it posted if there's any change in the storm's track or if it will continue to move on out into the water we'll still probably do a video in the next couple of days just to inform you what's happening with hurricane adrian so stay tuned to MrHurricaneTracker.Webs.com. We'll continue to watch this very impressive storm. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.